presenting Wednesday. How you doing guys, Big Mike Van School back once again with another Wizarding Wednesday video for you. And today, I finally got Dobby and Creature finished. So, Dobby and Creature, let's uh, get some pictures up so you can see them easier, shall we? Shall we? Um, and I'll just talk you through what I've done on each of the miniatures. Uh, let's start with Creature before I forget the colours I've used. Um, so for Creature's robes, I've already talked you through the flesh, so I'm just going to be concentrating on the robes and the bases of the miniatures for this. For Creature's robes... Um, what I did was a Mechanica standard grey base coat and then it was a wash of Norm Oil. What I wanted to do was take it, take the robes to a much darker colour. Um, so I chose a wash of Norm Oil which is basically GW's black wash. Um, typically I use that for oil effects and to make metallic work look dirty um, on my Warhammer miniatures. But in this case it was to to bring the grey much darker, uh, bring, bring those grey tones down, especially in the recesses. And then uh, after that it was a light dry brush of Dawnstone. Um, and then onto the base, now I won't talk to you about the base just yet, I'm going to talk about Dobby's robes. So switching over to Dobby, what I did in this case was a recess wash of Drucci Violet, which is a Citadel colour, most of the colours I use are Citadel colours. Uh, so a recess wash of Drucci Violet, which is like a, a violet colour, a purple colour. Um, and I wanted to give it a sort of a magical feel. Um, based on the images I've seen online of Dobby, you don't sort of, you don't get that. The robes just look kind of dirty. But I wanted to um, imply a certain amount of magic. Uh, so I went for the Drucci Violet wash and then a dry brush. Again, a light dry brush of... Uh, celestial gray, celestial gray in this case. Um, the base colour on that was Fenrisian grey or Fenris grey. I can't remember if it's Fenris or Fenrisian grey. Um, and yeah, so Fenrisian grey or Fenris grey. Wash of Drucci Valley in the recesses, and then a dry brush of celestial grey to to bring those robes up. And I think it works really well on the on the Dobby miniature. Uh, it's really nice. Now onto the bases. So the bases, I did a Mechanica standard grey. Um, I think it was Mechanica Standard Grey, I can't remember now actually what grey I used, but I think it was Mechanica Standard Grey. If it wasn't that, it was probably Storm Vermin Fur, because I wanted like a, a more browny grey. Um, but I can't remember, so I'm going to have to experiment on the next lot of bases I do to try and get them to match. Um, so I went for a grey base coat basically, and then I picked three colours. Um, I've seen an image online when I was Googling I googled like, Google, like Hogwarts main hall, Hogwarts entrance hall, and um, looked for various images of, of stone flags and stuff like that. And there was one image that I liked when I think I googled Hogwarts main hall, one image that I liked where you could see the light bouncing off the flags on the floor, and each flag looked a slightly different colour. Um, so you, some of them looked more golden. Uh, sort of brownie golden sort of flags like Derbyshire stone sort of look um, other ones looked more like a, a slate sort of flag with a, a sort of black with a bluey sort of hint to it and others looked uh, reddish now I don't know I've never seen a reddish stone like that before but what I decided to do was a little experiment um, and let me know what you think of it in the comments below because it's Hard to know sometimes whether something's going to work on a miniature um, until you get other people's opinion. Um, so let me know if you think these bases are too. I've gone too far with the bases um, and too realistic almost, and it sort of takes away from the miniatures. Uh, so I did a Seraphim Sapia wash to get a goldy sort of browny sort of flag, and then a Raycon Flesh Shade wash gives you those reddish tones, and it was an Agrax Sure Shade wash to give us that dull sort of grey brown tone on, on some of the flags there. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. This is my Dobby and Creature. Um, I've painted two lots of them. One of them's going to a friend. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you on these miniatures. The next lot of miniatures you'll see. Um, I think I'm going to be doing Filch and Dumbledore next. Um, but keep an eye out for them. Thanks very much for watching guys. And I'll see you on the battlefield.